Hi, our next stop in Israel is En Gede. We first hear about En Gede in Genesis chapter 14 verse 7, which tells us Amorites dwelt in Hazazon Tama, which is En Gede. For Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 2 states, Hazazan Tama is En Gede. Next, we hear about En Gedi in 1 Samuel chapter 23, verse 29, which tells us King David dwelt in strongholds at En Gedi. And chapter 24 also states from verse 1, Now it happened, when Saul had returned from following the Philistines, that it was told him, saying, Take note, David is in the wilderness of En Gedi. Bible tells us Saul took 3,000 chosen men from all Israel and went to seek David and his men on the rocks of the wild gods. And it's believed to be Psalm 63 has been written by King David when he was in the wilderness of Judah, which has been associated with David's journey in the desert of En Gede. And at this point, I would like to read Psalm 63. O oh God, you are my God, early will I seek you, my soul thirsts for you, my flesh longs for you, in a dry and thirsty land, where there is no water, so I have looked for you in the sanctuary, to see your power and your glory, because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you, thus I will bless you while I live, I will lift up my hands in your name, my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. Because you have been my help, therefore in the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand upholds me, but those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth, they shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for jackals, but the king shall rejoice in God, everyone who swears by him shall glory, but the mount of those who speak lies shall be stopped. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your holy word. Thank you so much. We bless your holy name forever and ever. Amen. Engedi has been listed as one of the cities of Judah in Joshua chapter 15, verse 62. And in Ezekiel chapter 47, it is prophesied that one day its coastal location will make into a fishing village after the water of the Dead Sea has been made sweet. Here are the Bible verses. Ezekiel chapter 47 from verse 1. Then he brought me back to the door of the temple, and there was water flowing from under the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the front of the temple faced east. The water was flowing from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He brought me out by way of the north gate, and led me around on the outside to the outer gateway that faces east, and there was water running out on the right side. And when the man went out to the east, with the line in his hand, he measured 1,000 cubits, and he brought me through the waters. The water came up to my ankles. Again he measured 1,000 and brought me through the waters. The water came up to my knees. Again he measured 1,000 and brought me through. The water came up to my waist. Again he measured 1,000, and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water was too deep, water in which one must swim, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he brought me and returned me to the bank of the river. When I returned there along the bank of the river were very many trees on one side and the other. Then he said to me, this water flows toward the eastern region, goes down into the valley and enters the sea. When it reaches the sea, its waters are healed. And it shall be that every living thing that moves, wherever the rivers go, will live. There will be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters go there, for they will be healed, and everything will live wherever the river goes. 
It shall be that fishermen will stand by it from Engede to En Engleim. They will be places for spreading their nets. Their fish will be of the same kinds as the fish of the great sea, exceedingly many. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thank you, my Lord. I would like to finish with Song of Solomon, in which speaks of the vineyards of Engede. From chapter 1, Solomon's love for Shlomite girl. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's, the banquet, the Shlomite. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine. Because of the fragrance of your good ointments, your name is ointment poured forth. Therefore the virgins love you, draw me away. The daughters of Jerusalem, we will run after you. The Shlomite, the king has brought me into his chambers. The daughters of Jerusalem, we will be glad and rejoice in you. We will remember your love more than wine. The Shlomite, rightly do they love you. I am dark but lovely. O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedah, like the curtains of Solomon, do not look upon me because I am dark, because the sun has tanned me. My mother's sons were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. To her beloved, Tell me, O you whom I love, where you feed your flock, where you make it rest at noon. For why should I be as one who wills herself by the flocks of your companions? The beloved, if you do not know of fairest among women, follow in the footsteps of the flock and feed your little gods beside the shepherd's tents. I have compared you, my love, to my filly among Pharaoh's chariots. Your cheeks are lovely with ornaments, your neck with chains of gold. The daughters of Jerusalem, we will make you ornaments of gold with studs of silver. The Shlomite, while the king is at his table, my spankenard sends forth his fragrance. A bundle of myrrh is my beloved to me, that lies all night between my breasts. My beloved is to me a cluster of henna blooms in the vineyards of Engede. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, for your holy word, for your lovely word. We bless your holy name forever and ever. Amen and amen. May God bless you all in Christ Jesus. Amen.